worms from 2 plus 2 and this is going to be a series of videos showing you how to install Windows, uh, how to update Windows, and then how to configure it and what programs I use. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to maintain a secure poker computer. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing this in a virtual machine so I can show you uh, all the install processes. So I'll start up my computer. We're going to we'll put the CD in the drive and boot from the CD. Uh, this is the Windows XP setup screen. Uh, so it asks you to press F2 to run auto automatic system recovery and you don't want to do that just let it run so it's loading all these files um, and detecting your hardware and I'm gonna pause the video a few times just uh, while it doesn't require any action from me to keep the video from being three hours long okay so once it's detected your hardware you'll get this screen uh, and it says to set up Windows XP press enter press enter Okay, press F8 to agree. Okay, I have a previous version of Microsoft Windows on here, but I'm not going to repair it, so I press Escape. And then I want to delete the partition where Windows is currently installed, so select D, then Enter, and then L to delete it. Okay, now it's been deleted and I want to set up Windows XP on this unpartitioned space so press enter and we'll create an NTFS partition and you can select the quick method press enter so I'll pause the video while this uh, formats here okay after it finishes formatting then it needs to copy the install files to your hard drive Okay, once it once setup copies the files to your hard drive, then it'll uh, restart your computer. And you don't want to boot from CD this time. Just let it boot from the hard drive. You'll get the Windows XP loading screen. And then the Windows XP install screen. Alright, so this is the first screen that you come to. Uh, it's the regional setup, so English and US keyboard is fine. I'll name this computer Funky Worm. Or Okay, the computer name. Make it, name it Funky Worms, and we'll set an administrator password. You don't have to set an administrator password, but I like to. Okay, date and time settings are fine. Just click next. Okay, the next screen that pops up is the network settings screen. So next is fine. Uh, you can change the work group. I'll just leave it as default work group. Okay, so Windows will restart after uh, the setup finishes. You'll get this message about your screen resolution. Set OK, and then click OK again if you can read the text. you'll get this setup screen. So right now I just click uh, do not turn on automatic updates and then you can skip the checking your internet connectivity and then say no not at this time you don't want to register with Microsoft. 
set my name as okay so this is what your desktop will look like when your computer reboots after installing Windows uh, you'll get a message about uh, antivirus software not being installed you just close that pop-up for now uh, you can close the pop-up about taking a tour of Windows XP and then the first thing you want to do is install your Windows updates so go to start programs and then Windows updates don't show the information bar again and then install the ActiveX control for Windows updates install click install now for that to install. Uh, and then you'll get this screen. Uh, and we can do an express install just to get the high priority updates. Uh, the Windows XP CD I used to install here comes prepackaged with Service Pack 2, but the latest uh, Windows XP Service Pack is Service Pack 3. So we'll need to install that. Uh, but before that we have to update a few Windows components. Also, uh, if Windows didn't prompt you to activate your copy of XP, it'll have these keys down here and we can go ahead and activate our copy now. So you click on the keys and it'll bring up this screen. It says to activate Windows. Yes, I want to activate Windows over the internet now. No, I don't want to register. Just activate Windows. Click Next. Okay, now you enter your uh, product key. And you can find your product key either on your Windows XP CD sleeve or on the back of your computer or underneath your laptop. Okay, so I entered my product code and it says thank you I have successfully activated Windows uh, click you'll get this message and click yes download and install now and it has three updates uh, that it'll download and install before you can uh, download the service pack 3 restart your computer after those updates install So when your computer reboots, go to Start Programs, Windows Updates. Click Express. Okay, and it sees that we need to install Service Pack 3, so click Install Updates. And Service Pack 3 takes a while to install, so I'll pause the video again while this installs. Uh, there's one point in the middle of the install where it requires a user involvement, and I'll show you what that is when we get there. Okay, so you'll get this screen, and just click Next. restart your computer after service pack 3 installs okay you'll get this screen after service pack 3 installs once again choose not right now for automatic updates okay when your computer restarts open windows updates again and click express you'll have a lot of updates to install so go ahead and install all of them Okay, you'll get a pop-up for Internet Explorer 8. Uh, click I do not want to participate now and then install and I accept. Uncheck install updates and select next. So restart your computer again after all those updates install. Okay, when Windows restarts you see if you have no more updates to install. So check out my next video on how to tweak Windows to make it faster and more secure.